Okay, uh, the thread body Frenchie. Um, so to start with, I've got a uh, Tactics BL450. Uh, this one's a size 14, and I've got a black, excuse me, a uh, copper tungsten bead slotted. So it will sit up like this on the hook. Um, I'm not going to add any weight to this, so uh, just because I want to maintain a nice slim uh, profile. Uh, to start with, I've got uh, UTC. This is a rusty brown. I, I like to use browns um, and olives generally uh, for these particular fl uh, flies. Um, I will say that the thread will darken up. The body of the fly will darken up a little bit when you put uh, the, the uh, UV flow resin on there. So just something to note, it does tend to darken up. Uh, so to start with, I'm just going to tie my thread on to the hook here. And really just going to push, make sure I get my, my uh, bead right where I want it. Uh, you'll notice it sits one way in particular, where it really sits up high. When you get that, uh, go ahead and use your finger. You can hold it in place. Take a few wraps just to kind of lock everything down. And then we'll take wraps back to the rear end of the hook. Um, for our tail material, I'm using Coke de Leon. This is in a medium speckle. I'm looking to get, oh, maybe 10 fibers or so. Um, and you're, you're wanting to get about, oh, either the hook length, excuse me, the body length, or maybe like two thirds of it. So slightly less than the full hook length is, is pretty good. So if you're kind of going there, I like to tie this in at a slight angle when I start and let the tension Sorry, let the tension really wrap it up over, center it. Sorry, okay, so something like that is pretty good. Uh, and you just wanna make sure you kinda go right down the back of the fly. Keep everything lined up. Uh, and you wanna wrap all the way up pretty much near the head, as close as you can. The thing with these, um, you wanna keep the, uh, these types of flies, you wanna keep the body profile slim. So there's no friction um, or drag, and these really get down in the water column quickly. Uh, the secondary thing is that you want to, uh, I'm just going to reposition this slightly. You want to maintain a nice, uh, a nice smooth, consistent uh, body on these thread bodies because you, you don't have anything covering up your imperfections is essentially what's happening. Um, so then I go ahead and flatten my thread out a little bit. Uh, for my, my body material, um, my body wrap, I'm going to be using uh, ultra wire um, in a brassy copper color. And I like to start these uh, right here in the notch of my, uh, of my bead. Put a little pressure and really just tie straight down the back of the fly. Um, when you get down near the tail, I, I will pull off to one side just to go ahead and start that natural wrapping motion. Okay. Uh, and then on this piece, again, just making sure your thread's nice and undone here. You can do this by spinning counterclockwise. So I try to get my thread as wide as I can. Um, nice and consistent wraps all the way back up, covering that wire, really locking everything down and ensuring a nice taper all the way up to the head. Once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap. Starting with uh, you know, pretty short wraps to close together, um, in, you know, widening these segments out as I get up near the head of the fly, I'm providing that natural look, and didn't finish quite where I wanted, but um, when you get up to the bead. Go ahead and lock that in place. Couple over, couple under. And then you can kind of helicopter that off. Okay, now we're ready to, uh, for the body, I'm using a little bit of Loon UV Flow. Uh, not a ton. And really just kind of looking to fill in 
the gaps. I'm not looking to smooth it all the way out. Um, that's not the purpose of this. The purpose of this is really to add durability to the fly. Uh, so it will kind of lock that wire in place, um, number one. And number two, it, uh, it just adds a cool look uh, to the fly by adding a little bit of shine, making it look a little bit less like thread and wire, more like a, a natural you know, insect type material. So lost my focus there, sorry. Okay. And now the last step here is we're gonna add a little bit of dubbing. I'm using a UV ice dub in a pink. I like pinks and orange type colors for this. Just adds a little bit of a hot spot. Again, this stuff goes a super long way, so you wanna make sure your dubbing noodle is nice and tight. I like using wax. Um, and you only really need about an inch or so of a nice tight dubbing noodle. You can always add more. It's more difficult to take it off. Um, so keep that right there. Not sure quite what's okay. Um, and then you want to just make sure you don't have too much tension on your thread. It could potentially break. Uh, we'll go ahead and once we get that dubbing on, we whip finish. Sometimes I will come in with a little uh, toothbrush or dubbing brush. Just kind of pick these fibers out a little bit. Cool. And there it is. Um, the uh, sorry, uh, thread body Frenchie. Uh, Go ahead, tie it, try it yourself. Uh, super easy, quick little tie. You can fill a whole box up with them. Super effective uh, pattern, particularly for your nymph style of fishing, um, where it's you're going to be your anchor fly and ride in the water like so. Um, I would encourage you to, to tie it and try it out for yourself. And uh, I'll be sure to post a material list um, recipe in the notes. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And uh, good luck. Thank you.